Well, I'm just walking back from our first set of the bow season here in Wisconsin. Um, I didn't see anything this morning. It was a beautiful morning. Uh, I ended up getting down to like 43 or something. At least that's what my truck said this morning. High hopes for tonight, and um, I think I'm gonna head back to the same same general area where I killed a couple bucks early season in years past. So, wish me luck. gonna get back in the tree tonight. Uh, it's been a while since I've been out. Um, opening weekend was the last time that I was hunting and that was back home. Uh, now we're at school and shit's starting to get a little busier and it's kind of getting harder to sneak away but um, found a blip in my schedule this afternoon so uh, I'm gonna take advantage of it and get out. Pretty eventful. I saw I, about five does and one little two and a half year old buck. Um, the buck and two does were at probably 300 yards. I just saw a glimpse of them and I got them in the binos. I tried to get the camera on them, but I just couldn't quite zoom in quick enough before they bedded down. Um, but they bedded down in some marsh grass. That, you know, I, I tried to pick them out and I just couldn't. Meh. Meh. All right, well, I'm finally getting around to doing this little explanation on my bull buck for this year, fall of 2021. Um, so that hunt was pretty awesome. I picked out this piece and I walked all the way in there. Um, it was quite the trek in there, just over a mile. Um, and I got set up and I got on top of this ridge and picked my spot. And um, I just, just as much as got in the tree and I looked to my right and there was a deer coming already. It was this little buck and he come and made a scrape and kind of meandered around a little bit, kind of checking for does and seeing what was around and um, just kind of doing what baby booners do. And um, so he made his way off. Um, 
and then um, throughout the night I mean I had turkeys and several different does come in and and um, provide me with some entertainment but um, right before dark I uh, heard some crunching behind me and I looked look behind me and three does are coming up this trail that goes right under my stand I'm like Ooh, here we go here we go um, and so they they continued on up through that trail um, and there's a, a real mature doe and then her two yearlings and um, and the, the mature doe kind of knew something was going on but she couldn't quite pin me down and and um, see exactly what I was or you know what was kind of going on in the area and um, so they kind of worked off like 50 yards downwind of me um, and kind of stayed put for a while and um, not a minute later I heard steps behind me so I look and um, this buck that I that I'd killed he was thrashing through the brush trying to get through with his horns and and I, I looked at him and I was like I, I immediately started reaching for my bow so I knew it was a shooter <laughs> but my heart got racing and I'm like yeah he'll, he'll, he'll fit the bill um, but he ended up coming right under my stand and presented me with a 13 yard shot um, I didn't get much footage after the kill as far as recovering and whatever because by the time we recovered him it was 3 a.m. and we were that deer ended up going 800 yards um, plus actually and it was a mile drag out of there so um, so I kind of ditched the camera I had some great friends helping drag him out um, and get him back to the house in a manageable timeline just an awesome hunt and, and I, uh, yeah, looking forward to next season already.